today I'm going to teach you how to make a granny square. I've picked some pastel type colours. You need a crochet hook, a scissors and a wool needle and wool, obviously. Um, this is a two-tiered granny square, a teeny tiny one which I love and you just put them together to create a larger piece. So I've picked a 4.5 millimeter hook and you'll need the same size wool. What you do, get your first two fingers, make a scissors shape and just pop the end between the two. And then you bring the wool forward to the left of the little tail. Then go under the tail and wrap the string over the top finger and then between the two fingers. And then you simply take the first string, the string on the left, lift it up and pull it over the second string. Pop the hook through the hole and simply pull tight. Now if you take your thumb and your middle finger and you hold the end, wrap the yarn around the hook, twist the hook and pull through the hole. And you do that four times and it creates a chain. I do have a chain tutorial on my channel, so I'll link that in the bio if you'd like to learn how to do a chain a bit slower. Or you can pause it. So you do four chains, and then you simply put the tip of the crochet hook into the first chain that you created to create your loop. Then you wrap around the string and pull through. So you create this teeny tiny little circle. What you do, you pop the hook through the center of that tiny circle that you've created. Now you want to make sure that the end that you've got you don't really want the end the tiny tail at the end try and wrap the tail around the edge of the circle it's a slight sneaky little trick so pop the needle through the hole wrap the wool around the end and you pull back through then you want to make a chain of three one two three then you wrap the yarn around the hook pop it back through the hole the circle that you've created and bring the yarn back through and you should have three loops on your hook. Then you wrap the yarn round the hook and you bring it through two of those loops. Then you have two hoops on your hook, wrap the yarn around again and you go through both loops that are on the hook. And then you end up with one loop on the hook. Then you wrap the yarn around the hook. Put it back through the circle. Pull back through and then you'll have three loops on your hook. Wrap the yarn around. Pull through two loops. Wrap the yarn around. Pull through two loops. Now, feel free to pause at any point and rewind if you didn't get it. Um, it's really, really simple. So what you've done is created three chains. This part is this section here. And you're basically going to create four sections. So in order to create the next section, You, knew, you need to create like a slight chain so that there's a bit of a gap. So you've created three chains. You need a gap, then you want three chains, then you want a gap, then three chains. To do the gap, you just need to do two chains and then repeat. So that's the second section. 
Then you do two chains. One, two, and then repeat. So you're simply wrapping the yarn over the hook, doing two chains, wrapping the yarn over the hook and doing two chains for each one. And you do it four times to create a beautiful square. Now for the last section, what you need to do is you want to count up three chains and then pop your hook one so you count up three chains one two three and then you want to put the the then you want to put the hook through the next chain wrap the yarn around the hook and you want to do a slip stitch and you just simply pull the hook through all the knots snip away the end and pull the hook straight through so that you have an end pull it tightly now you might not be able to see it just yet but that is actually your middle section now you just need to get rid of the end and what you do you get your wool needle and you're going to just basically thread it all the way around the edge. If it's a bit long like this one, just snip it away. But don't do it too short because you want it to weave through nice and neatly. So when it is a bit short, what I tend to do is pop the needle through the wool. As long as you think the end is. <laughs> and then get your tail. Pop it through the hoop and pull, 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 pull. So it's all tucked away and it's nice and neat. And there you have your middle section of your granny square. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more craft tutorials.